<laughs> Did you shower? No, I just took a drink from the faucet. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Here, and we're eating cake and ice cream and chips for dinner. Mm, I wonder what time of the month it is. <laughs> <laughs> In case you all wanted to know. <laughs> on and on. After a while of pacing and thinking, Kanju could not take any more of it. All right, you can go and do what you wanted. I won't stop you. Pledger got up and smiled. See, was that so hard? She continued toward the main office building. Kanju felt a small spark of anger in him. All four of them finally got to the office building. Pledger stopped at the door of the building. Anybody coming with me? Fenler and Temzid cringed and backed away. Well, I guess that leaves you, Kanju. Come on. Do I really have to be a part of this? Please. Fine. Pledger pranced forward and grabbed Kanju's wrist, and then she tugged at it. They went into the building as an automatic door opened. Fendler had his arm around Temzid. We'll be out here! Fendler waved to them. The end. That's what I have. That's it? That's, that's it? That was good. There's There's that one. I don't know if they got to have their own private pool. <laughs> that's only chapter one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You really it's think I'm going to chapter publish? Chapter one. <laughs> you could. It's called. Yeah, audio books stories. better have British voices because it's not meant to be read in British. Well, it should be. I know a British guy. Well, it's an <laughs> I can get him to read it for you. Would you like to read the other book I'm working on? Because <laughs> <laughs> that was so interesting. There's more well, where that came one from. Would kind of work with the British accent. This one would kind of work. And it's just. <laughs> this no. one's real short, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's gonna. It's supposed to be a children's book. This one. No, this one's just like a page. Two pages. <laughs> Mysteries on Morris Avenue, by Carson M. Wyland. Chapter. Read five. by Kayla Teen. <clears throat> it was a Saturday, and Danny Elwood was finally turning twelve. It was his birthday, at last. He woke up and stretched his arm and quickly ran down the steps down to the living room. He saw that the birthday flag was hanging on the ceiling fan. <laughs> Sounds like a true story <laughs> of my childhood. <laughs> it's Dad's middle name. <laughs> <laughs> he saw that the birthday flag was hanging on the ceiling fan. Oh, it was sort of a family tradition to hang it on the birthday. Daddy looked over to the clock and saw that it was only 8 o'clock. Everyone was still asleep. Danny thought to himself, while everyone is still sleeping, I could take a peek at my birthday cake. <laughs> I feel like Eustace. <laughs> I feel like Carson. He went to the kitchen and got out a stool and climbed the dishwasher to see if the cake was on top of the fridge. <laughs> this is a but true this story. Was, this is not. This was not. Part of while it is true. In real, in real life, it wasn't while everyone was sleeping. No. Everyone was looking at me. He got up to look. There it was, covered in tin foil. Danny stood on his toes and moved his head closer to the pan. Slowly, he was peeling <laughs> off the foil to take a peek at what his cake looked like. The light was shining on the cake, only getting a quick look at it when... Danny! His mother yelled. Danny quickly closed up the foil and behind him was his mother. Don't peek at your cake! Danny's mom <laughs> said with a smile. But mom! <clears throat> Danny moaned. Not until... Yeah, not until later, his mother replied. Danny didn't want to wait. He wished he could eat cake and open his presents now. Now be quiet. Everyone is still sleeping. That's every kid in the world. <laughs> his mother said. Danny went to the living room and picked up his mother's tablet from the coffee table. He sat on the couch and played with the drawing app, just swiping his finger all over it, trying to make the whole screen dark. He heard his mother getting out the pots and pans and the ingredients for chocolate chip pancakes. Danny was... Oh, that was a party. We had so much fun. Carson and I played Heroes of the Storm. We lost real bad. I don't know where my phone is. I'm going to call it with whoever's phone this is. Unless they have a password, which I think they do. I think this is Carson's phone, and he's got a password. Anyways, going to go...
for fun, more fun, more fun. Goodbye. Good morning. How's it going? It's cold-ish outside, but uh, I need to set up for a scavenger hunt. We're doing. Oh, the grass is frosty on my frizzy little feet. Oh, burr, burr, burr. You gotta do one of them that's close-up picture. I think we might do a close-up of this here uh, little birdhouse. We're gonna do something, something like that. Do you think that's recognizable? I don't know. Oh no! She got the car stuck in the mud, guys! It's mud! So, Corey and Carson and me are gonna maybe kinda sorta try and push it out. Well, we're gonna try and push it out. I don't know if we're actually gonna push it out, but we're gonna try and push it out. Uh, good job, Kayla. Muddy. Muddy. Un poquito muddy. Oh yeah, she got it. She got some mud going on. Nice, girl. Yeah, she got that muddy too. Ooh, got some good fresh mud going on. And our tires are super bald, so I'm sure that doesn't help. Alright, we are trying to get the car out. Still. Putting rocks and stuff underneath. I made the mistake. I don't... I was trying to avoid the mud and ended up getting in the mud, so... Are you even recording? Yeah. Got a lot of poo flinging going on. Maybe try pushing me now. Let's try pushing you, actually. Ouch! Can I eat this? I want to eat it. No, we're going to I'm a hungry. Yeah, just a single piece of thing. Just a single piece. I'm a super. Hopefully, Carson's shoes are dried. Do they seem pretty dry? So teams are nice. Mom, Steven, and Lenny the Nah. Mom. I might get lost. Okay, you can keep, <laughs> you can keep your phone with us with you. Mom, Steven, and Corey, and Garrett, me, and Carson. And it's a scavenger hunt. We have to scavenge for resources to kill the other team. Oh, so you guys. Kids each other too? Yeah. Yeah, so I made a set of clues, she made a set of clues, so we can both play. Well, that's not part of the scavenger hunt. Dave, I've got your team. No, no you're on my team. You're on the other team. You're with Carson. Well, yeah, of course you're with Carson. <laughs> you're with Carson. This, the, for this uh, for this scavenger hunt, you have to be separated from your body. <laughs> this is a spirit-only scavenger hunt. What started out as a, oh, that'd be a fun idea, has turned into, ugh, I hate this for Ever. <laughs> Here's a case. Is it in there? No, not in that case. Cases? Or is it just case? No, a single case. Aces was the other one. Case. Maybe a clue? Magnifying glass? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Case. Here's a case. I don't know. I pair them with each line. Yeah, and that's what I thought. It's a right? So you know how we cleaned the car the other day? Yeah. Why is it so busy? Well, I mean, I know why, because it's nice out and it's a Saturday, but it's like real, real busy. But we're going for a walk anyways. I was thinking about running, but I'm not sure that it's open enough, and just be too many people. It might be annoying. 
Uh, maybe on the other half, on that side over there, I'll run back. I don't know. Well, there's the rafters. They're just a rafting down the river. Well, they're not rafting yet. They're gonna, gonna go rafting down the river. It's too cold for that. No, thank you. And it's a water activity. No, thank you. So Carson and Steven just suddenly took off. They're jogging through. They're way up there. You can't see them anymore. The rest of us are taking our time. It's super nice out. I don't often see this trail at a slow pace because we run it so often. So it's kind of nice to take in the scenery and remember what it looks like. So there's a dog out there that uh, the people must have thrown something in the water. Oh no. It's gonna get, the current is really strong. It's white water. It's down there. Oh, I think they're gonna lose it. Almost. No. He swam to this side and now he's trying to swim back, but it's a strong current. Oh good. That would be really sad. We're like calling for it. Okay, we're playing poo sticks. They have to remember which stick theirs is and see who comes out on the other side of the bridge first. Ready? And go! Probably the person who dropped theirs in. Yeah, back to the other side. Oh, oh mine. Mine, there's mine. Corey's the one. That's mom's. There's mine. I think mine's Well, mine made it. Woo! <laughs> Carson and Garrett sunk. Lame. The end is nigh! But we gotta sit anyways. Yeah, it's that rock. Because the bridge is right there. The wedding pictures. Oh, and that came all the way out here in the wedding dress. Wow. It's not far. It's that's, not like, far. that's like right at the beginning. The bridge, the bridge is right there. I made it. Mom said I'm a good driver. Aren't you proud of me? Did you shower again? No. I just took a drink from the faucet. No. I just... Did, did you shower? No, I just took a drink from the faucet. <laughs> it's the same thing. 